Okay. Um, welcome officially to tonight's session. Tonight we are going to talk about the projects we are about to start. Um, this night we are going to issue out a project brief to all these projects. And as soon as the project brief is out, is expected that the project managers and the business analysts will hit the ground running by doing what they are supposed to do, trying to identify the stakeholders and understand their expectation in this project and do the needful. I believe we are mature enough to know what is to be done when we receive a project brief. So at this point, I will not be doing so much spoof feeding. Um, I will intervene when there is crisis, when there is challenges, but day-to-day -day running of this project is going to be a you, the project managers and business analysts, and the, yeah, you guys are going to drive it. And you have everything you need. By the time we get to the stage we need developers, I will know, and by then we must have done everything we're supposed to do. So let's share the screen and a look at this project brief so that you can take it to your various groups. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I can. Okay. So, if you are feeling tired, you should have grabbed a cup of coffee. This is the time you have to showcase your skills. So, it's no, no dull moment here, you know. All right. What we are going to do today is to review this project brief. And the title is going to be Nearer.com ERP Implementation Projects. And the overview here is the Nearer.com ERP Implementation Project aims to introduce a centralized enterprise resource planning called ERP system to streamline and integrate business operations across departments. The ERP system will enhance data accuracy, improve operational efficiency, and support the growth of Nearal.com as is as it expands its services or service offering and user base. The implementation will address current inefficiencies in finance, HR, inventory management, and customer relationship management, thereby enabling better decision-making and scalability. These are the things the project aim to are uh, the objectives of this project. The objective number one is enhancing operational efficiency. This is to integrate and automate core functions to reduce manual processes and increase workflow efficiency. And two, data, improve data accessibility, centralize data across departments to allow for accurate real-time reporting and improve decision making. So we want every department to be assessing the information first class. You don't need to talk to 
someone in HR don't need to talk to someone in finance in order, in order to assess some financial information, such as um, employee uh, payment uh, packages. So number four, number three is to support business growth, establish a scalable ERP system that can adapt to the company's growth and expanding range of services. So we want a robust CRM system that can scale as nearas.com grows. Number four, increase customer satisfaction, streamline customer service and CRM functions to ensure faster response time and higher service quality. We want to uh, increase customer satisfaction. Cost savings. Reduce overhead costs by minimizing redundancies and optimizing resource allocation. So these are the five core objectives of this project. This is what we want to what we want to achieve by implementing ERP system for nearas.com. Then what are the scope of this project? Where do we need to cover? In order to capture this objective very well, we have to um, cover the following scopes. Number one, within our scope is ERP selection. Select ERP platform that align with the business need, budget, and technical requirements. So looking at, we are looking for a robust CRM system, uh, sorry, ERP system that can scale as we grow. During selection, we need to make sure we select a very scalable ERP system that is within our budget and within the time frame we want, we want to implement this. And the second scope is module implementation. The ERP system will include the following core modules finance, HR, inventory management, and customer relationship management, and reporting modules. So these are the core modules. Every, any of the ERP we are, we are going to consider, we are going to make sure that they have the capacity to supply all these core modules we are looking at. Data migration, migrate any existing data from our current system to the new ERP system, ensuring data accuracy and completeness. Training and support, provide end users training for staff and establish a support structure for ongoing assistance. It's going to be a very, um, robust training looking at our covering the different departments. So we need to train staff across departments ranging from finance, uh, HR, inventory operations or marketing and um, sales and marketing that are going to be using CRM. So we need to do training across board so that they can use the system very well. And testing and quality assurance conduct thorough testing to ensure each module function correctly and integrates with other system. And finally, go live and transition. Launch the ERP system and transition to full operational status, operational status with a pro a post implementation review for performance optimization. So after we must have gone live, we need to have 
a post implementation review for ongoing optimization and support. These are the key deliverables, um, just like what we captured in our scope. We almost captured the key deliverables in our scope, we have ERP platform selection reports. So when this is done, what we mean by within our scope, we have all this our scope. So key deliverable should be a report about the selection of this um, ERP. So we need to do a very good uh, requirement gathering analysis and um, post um, solution evaluation cost benefit analysis to make sure that ERP we are selecting aligns to the organizational objective. So this is going to be a key one of the key uh, deliverable. So this should be in form of kind of a business case, sort of. Then implementation plan, a detailed roadmap covering step-by-step -step installation and configuration process of this model. This is going to come in form of a project plan. Data migration, completion, and verifying <clears throat> data set accuracy transfer to the new ERP system. Training material and session, comprehensive user guide, training session, and video tutorial for end users. Testing and QA reports, documented result from functional testing um user acceptance testing and performance evaluation so we need a comprehensive uh testing uat test at least a uat testing and go live plan plan of launching how do we launch we need to have a plan for that so comprehensive plan to transition to the uh from the dev to life environment including a contingency uh, plan and then stakeholders look at stakeholders here the stakeholders will be made up of a project sponsor nearas.com execu executive leadership team project manager assigned project manager it team it team comprised of the team, uh, the project team members, such as the business analyst, um, quality assurance managers, developers. These are the IT team that will be responsible for technical setup, integration, and testing. Departmental head, all the departments, like HR department, finance department, uh sales and marketing department inventory um uh, and operations department they are going to be part of it because we are deploying this for their various um use and then erp vendor any erp vendor we've selected for instance if you happen to select sap then sap is going to be our vendor if you are going to select Sage, Sage is then going to be our vendor. Then if we are selecting Dynamics 365, ERP, then Microsoft Corporation is going to be our vendor. We can go to them directly or most of the time, these people have technical partners who sell their product and become their vendor. Like if you talk about uh, Microsoft, most of their product like Dynamics 365 products are being sold through technical partners who can equally help you during the configuration. And then end users. End users are staffs, nearas.com staff who will interact, who will be using this ERP on a day day-to-day basis. So some of the key staff that will be making use of this ERP from finance, 
sales and marketing, uh, HR, they are going to be part of these stakeholders. So when we are calling stakeholders meeting to capture requirements, these are kind of people that we need to consider. And the timeline is eight weeks. So means we have two weeks to get this uh, running. And it's expected that the first week is going to be vendor selection and um, a requirement gathering um, system design configuration, data migration, time, uh, and uh, quality assurance training, uh, training documentation, and go live. It's going to be two weeks, but this arrangement here is not for me to, it's left for the team. The team can rearrange it the way they want it. This is just a guide, this timeline, and this is a guide. It doesn't mean that you must follow it the way I arrange it. You're only already a business analyst and project manager. So it's left for you people to arrange it. So what I did here is a guide. So don't come back and start telling me why must this come before this. And the budget here, we have 10 million Naira budget for this. And this is how I is a budget estimate is estimate here. So if you are very prudent and can save us some money, good and fine, we are going to give you a pro promotion if you can do this with 5 million. So, but if you are over shooting the 10 million, then you must have a strong reason why we should go above 10 million. So, and this is, uh, the breakdown it doesn't mean that is this is how it's going to be we are project managers i am not i'm just the project sponsor here so i'm not going to tell you of course you are going to advise me better on how to uh do this so all you have here is just a guide telling you people what i want but similar of this how to get this done if you you are in the position to so let me know at this point, you should be able to do this. And risk and mitigation strategy. Uh, these are the risk. I'm not saying that there are, there are no risk at this moment, but expected such based on the experiences are where the risk might come, such as that data migration error. And uh, is a very high impact risk and mitigation strategy is to con conduct data audits and verify accuracy post migration resistance to change which is medium implement a comprehensive change management plan including user training um most cases um staffs they don't like changes they don't like to to move away from their comfort zone. So we are trying to implement a new system is we moving away from their comfort zone. And it's going to be uh, inconveniencing them because so many of them are going to be learning new skills, which they, so many of them are not mentally or psychologically, they are not ready for this at this point. So we, and some of these people have stayed or uh, contributed to the growth of the company in one way or the other. So you cannot just, push the push the, the 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 solution down their throats we need a comprehensive uh, change uh, management plan to buy their buy them over to support this uh, innovation scope creep medium sets clear project requirement and obtain sign off form uh, sign off from stakeholders at each pace you must make sure that we all by this time know what scope creep means if you know what we need to do to avoid such things like scope creep it's up to you we need um you have to define already um highlighted our scope and you for me if you are a very smart project manager you need to come up with if you don't have a project charter for this you need to develop a project charter 
to make sure that you are equally covered to lead this project and identify the scopes within your project chapter and making sure that if anybody is trying to bring in your additional requirements when the project chapter is signed off then the person needs to explain very well then delayed implementation this is high maintain a strict project schedule and monitor milestone closely system downtime during transition medium schedule a go live during low activity period such as night time or weekend so that there will be minimum disruption of activities okay and success criteria success factor if everything goes well uh, these are the way or things we expect to see number one operational efficiency reduction in manual processes and operational delay by um by at at least 30 percent so we need this operational efficient efficiency at least 30 percent achieved through this data accuracy improved data accuracy reflect reflected in real time reporting and analytics so we expect to you know see zero data error while this is now implemented all the data errors we've been um getting due to manual uh data entry we expect that is going to be uh we are not going to see it anymore and then user adoption we expect to achieve a minimum of 90 percent user adoption rate within the first three months so users should be able to use it very well and be happy to use it so system performance minimal system downtime and streamline support post go live we must have a dedicated support to make sure that we have a minimal downtime and then customer satisfaction enhanced customer service metrics the customer service rate uh, customer service um, satisfaction rate must go up after this so with improved response time and feedback so for instance all the customers the way we relate with our customers they should be happier we should see an increase an increase the metrics should see show an increase that customers are happy maybe from if we are going live by by january that as from january we can see that our customers are happier than they used to be okay and then approval and sign off the project sponsor and key stakeholders are required to review and approve this uh, project brief to authorize the start of the erp and today is um today is 8th of november 2024 and the project sponsor signature is already appended on this so showing that this is already a working document for this project we already have project managers so um we don't have any um project chapter at the moment but it's time for you to start if you know all the relevant documentation i'm not going to teach you what to do i've done my bits so it's for you to start um, hitting the ground running. So if you have any question at this point, I'm all, all yours now to answer your question. Mr. Alex. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, I have uh, two questions. One, uh, uh, the users of this uh, ERP, 
uh, you talk about the finance, human resources, uh, the inventory, then the customer relationship management. Uh, especially the finance, the human resources, and the inventory, are they active department in Nera.com? You are working uh, in Nera already, so you, should, you shouldn't be asking me that question as a matter of fact. You are doing your internship in Nera, so go find out. Okay, sir. The second question the you mentioned the the customers so uh who are the customers of course you are a staff of near us so you shouldn't be asking me all right i end my question yes sir okay are you not a staff of near us uh, alex yes so why are you asking me? Uh, the reason is I wanted to... Uh, we have uh, gone beyond our student level. I want you to understand that you need to be responsible at this point in as your relationship with Nearas. You guys are even more working in Nearas than me. You do more, most of the day-to-day -day activities. You know well where Nearas is and where Nearas need to be. That I'm the uh founder doesn't mean that i know you know what nearest is where nearest are where nearest want to be so all this question you're asking me is irrelevant so it's left for you to go and start doing your work if you need to identify your stakeholders you know what to do if you start booking appointment to get to your stakeholders to capture requirements so if these are some of the things you have to start in place so if what what you should be asking me is some of like if there's any of these terminologies or whatever thing but like i said some of these you asking me who are the stakeholders then it's time for you you don't ask me that question at this point so you know when to ask it so the first thing to go if you, are the, if you are the project manager, you take this to your team and do what you are supposed to do. You kick off meeting, you discuss how you are going about any confusion here, you know how to go about and start doing it. There is no spoon fooding here, I've told you guys. Any other question? Mr. IKZ? Good evening, Mr. Charles. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. OK. Um, so I just want to I just want to chip in like um, the question Mr. Alex asked now. I wanted to ask the same question, but the way you you pushed him like uh, scared me, and I believe it scared uh, some of us. If um, you push us like this, we'll be scared from asking some certain questions. Of that, course, uh, if, 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 if me respond, if you, are, if you are being scared with me, if, you are, if I'm scaring you at this point, then you have to run because I've been working with you for a period of time now. And if you do not understand, you are scared. Of course, then you need to be scared because I've been here for a long time. Most of these people know me already. I said I'm not going to feed you on this project. You have to be more responsible on this project. So if you are scared, well, so be it. Okay, okay. So follow up to that. If if we want to know, um, like I, I think I've asked this question before now. If we want to know the the updates on on uh, use uh, users in near us, 
so far? You know, who do we ask? Because the last time I asked that question, uh, um, it wasn't um, really clear to me how we will get to know the number of users and monitor how it's improving. Especially now that we want to start a, start a launching a campaign. Yeah, if you want to know how many users will have staff working near, near us, so you can make formal requests and you can be updated with data about many users or whatever data, you know, have data analysis or whatever, whatever you require, you make a request and it will be, um, it will be updated to, to you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other question? All right. Yeah, if we don't have any other question at this point. Okay, the next thing is we we'll have a guide on how to run a project. So the project is out already. So we we'll have team members, we we'll call a meeting, try to do the first thing we are supposed to do, kick off meeting, address what you need to do, uh, project breakdown structure from there. Then you start coming up with a requirement gathering. So if, if, if you meet me at requirement gathering where you need to gather requirements, then we'll talk about whatever uh, information or question you are coming during the requirement gathering. So if I happen to be one of the, the stakeholders that you are going to meet, yes, I will then address any question you are bringing based on requirement on this project. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I, what I expect you is, um, you can't come when we are trying to review a project brief. You start trying to gather requirements. Then what happened to the requirement gathering session? Are you the business analyst? Have you done your project breakdown structure? Have you done the necessary thing you need to do? You jump into requirement gathering session immediately. You don't do that. That is not what I taught you. So, yeah, we hit the ground running and we've not finished our, um, we've not finished our, our training on business analysis, we still have like a couple of, um, maybe at least five classes or there are about still remaining. So we'll continue our training on business analysis. But I know that to kick off this project, I've covered everything we need to be able to kick off this project. And even both within business analysis and project management. So we should be comfortable in starting this project and it will not stop you from running this project and the other project because in the past I've had class where they run two projects concurrently and even do their training. So we are not playing here. You have to, if it's becoming so stressful for you, then you know you are not prepared for this. Well, we are not doing anything extraordinary here. So, um, this business, um, um, this project brief, I will, um, I will attach it to the video while uploading, and I will equally upload it to our platform our um, 
WhatsApp group so that everybody can have access to it. And yeah, so by the time we are doing our updates, it's going to be double updates this time around. So, and for those who are becoming scared of me, I'm not a masquerade, I'm just Charles. Why you say you're scared of? You are, don't don't understand that. So yeah. all right. Today is um weekend, so I today is very sharp, sharp. So you can go have a cup of beer to cool your head down while you jump into this project this project is what you need you need it like you know you need everything in this year career so you need it seriously all right um 